first time. We got our bike, <laughs> our Yakima racks on, so we're good to go. And we got both the kayaks on, and we didn't kill each other or fight or anything. It was just, it went smoothly. So now we're gonna go kayaking for the first time on the Harpeth River. Dual cars. We're gonna drop my truck off at the end, two stops into the thing, and then we're gonna drive moms to the other place, to the start at Highway 100 and Newsom's Mills, the other place we're going. So she's dropping me off now. So we've kayaked before. We've never kayaked with our own setup before, and we've never kayaked on the Harpeth River before. It's been on our list for a while. Um, it's a popular place in Nashville, so we'll give it a whirl. Hopefully we've gotten going early enough. Uh, the plan was to leave way earlier than it's nine. So hopefully the parking lot's not completely full. We'll see. One of the reasons we got away later than expected is we this we, this is the first time for us. We bought the kayaks. I've got those used, and then I bought the racks and everything needed for the vehicle. And this was the first time installing any of that, and we installed it all. We had to unload the bikes out of the truck so that we could load the kayaks in when we got to the end. I had seen signs around our house for the river for the state park and our quest is to see all the state parks in Tennessee. And I'd seen people kayak on this river before, just riding my bike and stuff. Um, I didn't really understand the extent of it. So there are several pieces of property that make up the Harpeth River State Park. And we had hiked a lot of that over the winter. We had hit all the different properties that you could hike on. And you should go watch that video. There's some good drone footage in there. But this video and the rest of the state park is about the kayaking piece. And this map breaks it up pretty well. This is in a brochure they have and it has you start at highway 100 and there are multiple put in and pull out points along the way and the entire trip if you did it all would be right at 40 miles and most people do the very popular last loop because you can put in and pull out of the exact same location uh, but our goal is we're going to do all of them and we're not going to do them all at one time uh, we're going to break it up over time and this video is about our first trip so I had broken the, the 40 miles into four, and I was gonna do about a 10 mile run each time. And we went on this very first trip, and it took almost four hours uh, to do the 9.6. So we did the first two. We went from Highway 100, we passed the first pullout at Cooley Davis, which is right near, near our house. And we went on to Newsom Mill. And that was, we got off to a late start, but it was still, I think, a little too much. So I've kind of broken it up where we're probably just going to do each, we'll go to one pull out to one pull out. And some of those are too short, really. I mean, they'll be like an hour, a little over an hour. There's one more that we have to do that is a 8.9 mile, 8 mile stretch, which will take three hours. Um, so I'll do this with Emily. I might take the kids and we might do it with them as well. Or if Emily doesn't want to do it with me, I'll take a kid with me. Maybe Preston will go with me on that big long one. All right. Harpeth River State Park with the Highway 100 Bridge. Plenty of parking. Not full, but there's about to be a bunch of people here. These are renters. They rent them. We got our own equipment. First time ever. So we're starting here today. We're going to go down. This is where our house is. There's Cooley Davis. And then we're going to go past that. We parked at Newsome Mill. So this is three put-ins. And then the next time we'll start it here. And there's, you can see. And you go all the way, you wind up at Hare Street Bridge, where we've hiked before. We're going to break it up into four. Unless we die on this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I ride across that bridge all the time. A little wet hair. <laughs> I was telling Emily how I didn't really trust my, my skills because some of these little... It was like five minutes before. 
She's like, oh, I'm confident. I knew I had. I was like, I'm not. I don't trust myself. And we went around this little S and it, I hit a tree and it flipped me over and now I'm wet. Slow motion. And Emily was behind me and she went but on the other side of the tree and was just fine. <laughs> he lost his water bottle so now we have to share. So once again, we're not prepared for our adventure. We're basically going to die on this river. We are. Good thing there's a, a class safety course one. going on. There's yeah, there's supposed to be course. a safety course up here. We may need we're to stop. Joey's going to stop and join the class. <laughs> So we're almost to the railroad bridge, which is almost to Cooley, or it is at Cooley. We've seen a few of these blue herons. There's actually two of them that have been flying with each other. He's not going to take off this time. I always have my phone put away whenever he's flying. And he usually flies away when we come up. I guess now he's going to look at us and not fly. That's fine. You can do whatever you want. I wish you'd fly, though. <laughs> so we're almost to the first pullout at Cooley Davis. We'll take a little break there. Emily has water. I don't have any water. My water's in the river somewhere because I dumped it when I dumped myself. So we're at Cooley Davis. I don't see a pull out here. It may be further down or we may have already passed it at the bridge. There were some steps at the bridge that we did not take out at. We should be about halfway. It's getting hot. So those people in front of us, they evidently know what they're doing. <laughs> Because we got out and walked this. Because that would have probably flipped us. Flipped me for sure, because that's what I do. I hit branches like that and flip right over. Safety first. Thank you, people. Thank you, friends we don't know. We just walked through Buzzard, buzzard Sandbar. And now we're underneath the light lines and they're buzzing. Everything here is buzzy. <laughs> All right, we are to I-440. I hope a 18-wheeler uh, doesn't jump the bridge and crush us. That could happen. We are probably close to nine miles. We're almost done. Only a few more minutes left. I'll try to film underneath the bridge. It's a big bridge, looks like. I think we've passed. I think we've passed um, probably four or five railroad bridges couple of roads. This is the biggest road though. And then where we get out is just on the other side of this road about half a mile or less. Some people don't like graffiti art. I do. It's interesting. 666. Not sure about that. There's some more over here. And then we had a few rapids right before it. That was a nice little rapids. That's fun. Look how fast she's going. She's a class five rapid. Is there five rapid? Is there class five? Six? She's class seven. She's top of the class in my opinion. We're pretty tired. You tired? I'm tired. It's a We're here. Hot. Too much sun in my face. We're at Newsom's Mill. This is our pullout point. Pretty tired. What was that? Four hours? Uh, Thanks.